I am Zach Berman. I am Ryan Slater. Together we are the Juice Truck Boys. <laughs> when we launched, we wanted to bring health and wellness uh, to the masses. Uh, we wanted to create a product that was accessible and approachable. Whatever your lifestyle was, we wanted to have a product for you. A huge value for us was to treat our employees like they were our family and we've continued to grow as much as we can so that we're able to hire more people and have that family continue to grow. When we started it was just the two of us in a food truck. Uh, now we've got multiple locations and a large staff so the risks are a lot higher. So the burden of taxes placed in our business has grown obviously exponentially with property taxes being passed down uh, through triple net to renters like ourselves and the upcoming EHT tax will have a huge increase for us. It's probably around $30,000 in additional taxes. And it's unfair for our small business to have to pay the burden of a new tax when we traditionally have never paid the MSP uh, for our staff members. So we're in a perfect storm where all of a sudden we're faced with a new expense that we traditionally have never paid for. So our business has always remained profitable, but all the money that we've always uh, taken at the end of the year has always gone right back into our business for growth. And this EHT is just stopping those growth decisions because now we have to use whatever profit is available at the end of the year to pay off this tax burden. The, the impact is going to be huge. Ultimately, it affects our ability to, to give raises, to hire new employees, and uh, we, we might have to pass some of the cost on to our, our customers and increase prices. We've really changed our long-term vision for the business. Uh, we're looking to open one more store and then capping our growth. Previously, our goal had been to open a new store year over year, but that's, that's changed at this point. When these new taxes come up, there's never any consultation with us, the small business owners. Uh, we often both write our MLAs and our, our city officials and uh, we really never get any responses. So there's not a lot of consideration, uh, acknowledgement or respect for, for those um, taking the risk in the small business sector. I wish that the government would take small business into greater consideration when they're making decisions. I wish they consulted small businesses. Uh, I wish there was a bit of a roundtable discussion because I think there are solutions that can benefit everyone. Uh, they're just not the solutions that are being taken by the government.